cats disgust me. Black leather jackets are vile. Long greasy hair and blue suede shoes transform my blood to vile. If you want everyone to respect you as a modern American man, you must dress the way the magazines say they dress at Harvard and Yale. So you've never been to college in your live long life, never looked beyond the cover of a book. You can convince every chap that you're a Phi Beta cap, but if you've gone and got that Ivy League look, when the weather gets too chilly for Bermuda shorts, take those red flannel longies off the hook. Just be sure that that trap has a button down flap. You've got to have that Ivy League look. Alexander, they say, tried to conquer the world with a helmet and a shield to boot. You should have known he would fail with all that armor and mail when all he needed was a Brooks Brothers suit. They're very stunning. With his lunch, his shirt, and everything at poker games. And a burlap bag is all that ain't been took. Just be sure that that sack has a buckle in back. You gotta have that Ivy League look. With this dashing new style, you'll be tapered and trim, just as slender as a blushing bride. You'll be the picture of grace when you are seen face to face, and quite invisible when seen from the side. You're almost nothing. It is crucial that the well-dressed man be most precise, and should always dress exactly by the book. For with a two-button coat, you're just a Midwestern goat. But with three, you got that Ivy League look. Don't play the Rose Bowl, just dress the discreet way. The Smart Rogers Speedway, you gotta have that Ivy League look. Just call me Tweety, I've gone and got that Ivy League look.